Hi, I'm Richard, and today we're going to talk about how to get you an offer into HEC's Masters in Management program. Over the last 10 years, I've helped hundreds of students into top masters all around the world, and at HEC, we have an 86% success rate. Now, that is five times the average current rate, which is 19%, although it has been reported as low as 8% in some years, which would give us an 11 times success rate to the average candidate. How do we do it? Well, today we're going to be sharing a few of those tips. Now, before we start, HEC has a very specific requirement for those who speak English as a first language. You must be able to speak a second language to a high degree. Now, the course is primarily taught in English, although a few of the law and, and media specialisms we'll come to later are taught in French, so you don't need to be able to speak French to apply to this course, but they do insist two languages and they will look for evidence from native English speakers. So make sure that you understand that and don't waste time applying for a course if you don't have those language skills. They also are looking for a GMAT, average score of 710 is pretty high, and ideally a 2-1 or above. Although interestingly, HEC are more forgiving on different routes and people who maybe don't have a 2-1 or maybe don't even have a university degree at all. Now, tip number one to help you to get in. It is about who you are, not just what you've done. Now, one of their questions is, what is leadership and how do you spot a great leader? 250 words. These application questions replace a personal statement and they're about the values you have, what you want to achieve and what profound social impact you have. You need to think of specific examples and fill these questions with what makes you a great leader. Think about trying to become the president of France. What would you say in order to get those votes? It's the same mindset that they're looking for in future great leaders. And hey, they'd love it if they thought you were going to be a future president. Now, number two, and very similar to that, is to align with HEC's values. They have their KEDRA, their five core values, and they want you to at least pick one or two and talk about how you embrace those values and how you have made an impact in the world using those values. So research those and put those throughout the application. Tip number three, pretty similar again in terms of values, but HEC love it if you embrace their Frenchness. They're really proud of being a French business school. They want to hear about how you embrace other cultures and diversity and how you're looking for opportunities to learn the language and learn about the culture and ideally maybe stay in France and get a job afterwards. This will all give you a bit of an advantage in your applications. Now, that's just three of the very many tips that we have and a few more we're going to go through today. If you'll find this helpful, please do give us a like and subscribe. More importantly, why not leave a comment if you've got a budding question? I make sure to get back to all of our comments and really keen to give as much value as we can to maximise your chances of success. Tip number four. I often call HSD the build a bear of degrees. The amount of customization in this course is unreal and I do believe unparalleled. Now, in addition to having uh, many different specialisms, just within management, I think they've got 11 different specialisms from finance and sustainability, but they've also got law, public policy and media, journalism specialism. This degree can be turned into any industry. So have a robust career plan and align your selection of specialism with that. You can then go further, look at the hundreds of electives they have within those specialisms and talk about the specific ones that will help give you the edge in your career and application for a job afterwards. Now, just to remind you, this is a two-year degree with opportunities for internships, so it is longer than those one-year master's programs we typically see in the UK. That's great, more bang for your buck, more time commitment, more education. But you might also be out of work for an additional year. So do bear that in mind because it puts a few people off. Now, lastly, there is an alumni interview, two in fact, and they're going to be asking about your values, your career plan. 
I've been quite impressed at how much time HEC put into prepping their alumni and when people talk about specific industries such as fashion, they will ask what fashion means to you, what is fashionable and how to market it. If you talk about AI and business, they will ask you about algorithms and machine learning and the potential impacts those will have on your industry. So set up in your application the strengths you want to be talking about to make your interview easy. Be very careful to put things you don't know how to talk about. You might be caught out and lose your place from that. Now, because we've amassed hundreds of past interview questions, we have a 100% success rate of converting HEC interview offers into actual offers for our candidates. And we'd love to help you to do the same. Last little bonus tip, do put some time into the GMAT. At 710, it's a pretty high average score. HEC say they're very proud that there is no minimum score, but 710 puts you just below Oxford and MIT and above almost all other management programs. On average, our candidates need at least 10 weeks to prepare for the GMAT, and I strongly recommend getting an app, something that you can look at on your commute or maybe for a few minutes before bed each day. A lot of these are gamified to make it a lot easier to chip away at all of this learning. Also be aware of the GMAT focus, which on average scores are about 30 to 50 lower. So that 710 is roughly a uh, 645 on the new test. You can also take GMAT, uh, GRE and other tests. So that's what we've got time for today. If you'd like more tips, please do get in touch using the information on the screen today. I and my team would love to help you get into the MBA of your dreams. You can also sign up for an exemplar statement below and check out our other videos and other courses and written guides to boost your chances. Most importantly, best of luck.